fundraising webinar for cricket clubs. We've produced this one specially for you um, to help you raise more free funds for your club using our website. Uh, I'd like to thank you, first of all, for giving up your valuable time to join us, and hopefully it's going to be uh, going to be worth your while. I'm Andy Guest. I'm the head of accounts at Easy Fundraising, and I'm the producer of this webinar for my sins. In a moment, I'm going to be handing you over to Sophie Punk, who is the senior account manager at Easy Fundraising, and she looks after the ECB Cricket Partnership. It's uh, our newest partnership at Easy Fundraising, and it's doing really well. We're signing up lots of new cricket clubs in addition to the um, to the clubs we already had. So now we've got about um, we've got about 1,400 cricket clubs using the site. Um, to uh, raise money so uh, it's going really well and we wanted to kind of build on that momentum and give you guys um, a bit of extra help just to make sure those of you who, who aren't quite sure of what you're doing um, understand exactly how it works and to give you some of those insider tips that's going to help you raise the big bucks. So Sophie's going to deliver a 15 minute presentation telling you all that. Um, it's quite um, timely to be doing it at the moment just as we're entering the Christmas shopping period which is when you and your supporters are going to be able to generate lots of money for your club. Uh, then we'll have a question and answer session afterwards where you can type any questions into the chat box that hopefully you can see at the bottom uh, left of your screen over here um, and we'll do that afterwards we've got jenny who's one of our fundraising coaches who's going to help us with the answers um, to all the difficult questions that hopefully you're going to ask and we will be recording this webinar and putting it up onto our youtube channel in a few days time so uh, if you know any other people at your club who might be interested in listening or any other clubs that you'd like to pass this on to, um, we'll be able to send you out the link and you can pass that on to them. Um, so hopefully you can, um, you can hear us all now. Um, perhaps let's do, do a little test. Um, if you could just um, type in your name into the, um, into the chat box down here in the bottom left of the screen um, and press send. If you just put, type your name in and press send, um, then we'll be able to see if, anybody can, if everybody can hear us. Anybody, anybody, uh, anybody hear us? There we go, Phil. We've got you there, Andy. We've got you there. That's great. It's fantastic. At least I know that two, <laughs> two of you out there can hear us. There's go. Sophie's here as well. Thanks, Sophie. Okay. Right. I'm going to. Um, oh, by the way, if during the presentation there is a uh, full screen button in the top right of the screen, just about there, and if you can see my little cursor hovering around it. So if the presentation is not big enough, you can always click that button to take it full screen, so you can see everything that's going on. Right, that's enough from me. I'm going to hand over to Sophie to tell you all about how to make the most of easy fundraising. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, thank you so much for joining this easy fundraising webinar in partnership with ECB. We'll be showing you how to um, use easy fundraising, um, how we've helped cricket clubs raise funds so far, and how you can make the most of it and ultimately raise lots of money for your cricket. So who are we? Um, well, we're the UK's largest charity cashback site. We've been in operation since 2003. Our team of 39 work from Staffordshire in the West Midlands. We partner with over 2,700 retailers. And so far we've raised a whopping £7.6 million for good causes, such as cricket clubs, sports clubs, schools, religious groups, animal rescue centres and many more. So how does Easy Fundraising Model work? Well, this might be something that you're already aware of, but hopefully a recap will help you explain it to other people and gain support. The process of Easy Fundraising can be split out into three simple steps. So first off, um, start at Easy Fundraising. Um, do you want to buy a coat from John Lewis? Um, you go to our website, um, you click through to the John Lewis website from there, um, and in the background, an invisible fundraising tag is attached. When you're on the John Lewis website, you make a purchase as you normally would. Um, everything costs the same and the process is exactly the same. In the background, John Lewis can see that tab that, tag that we've applied. So they know that they will need to give a donation back to the cricket club. Once you've made your purchase, don't, John Lewis will donate 1% of the price that you spent with them. We collect it from easy fundraising side of things and we pass it on to your club at no cost to you. So just to recap, you make your online purchase with one of our 2,700 retailers. You receive a donation from the retailer approximately between 1 to 3%. 
um, and that gets donated to a cricket club. It's easy. So we're sometimes asked, um, what's the catch? Um, there's no such thing as a free lunch. The genuinely isn't a catch. The retailers give a percentage of the sale price back to you as a thank you for shopping with them. So most of us have heard of the loyalty schemes and this works in a similar way. So it's not you guys that pay and it's not us either. The money comes directly from the retailer. And I always say if the money is there for the taking, then you might as well support, take it to support your club. It's really simple for people to support you. Simply ask them to go on the Easy Fundraising website, search for your club and then click support. That will just take them onto a very simple registration form. So how have we helped this cricket clubs? Well, last year we helped cricket clubs raise £35,000. Well, you might think that seems quite a lot, but actually so far this year, we've already raised £36,000. And the total raised for cricket clubs um, all time through easy fundraising is now a staggering £182,000. We've spoken to some cricket clubs about how they've been finding easy fundraising and we've received some brilliant feedback. Abingdon Vale Cricket Club have already raised £376. They said, using easy fundraising couldn't be simpler. It's a real no-brainer. We've raised so much for AVCC just by doing what we'd be doing anyway. That just helps to demonstrate that you're not spending any extra money or time. You really are just doing what you do normally, but you're raising money at the same time for a cricket club. Eastern and Totem Sycamore Cricket Club have now raised £2,382. They said, we talk about easy fundraising on club emails and Facebook. We've also asked for support from different organisations. Give it a go, the potential is unlimited. Mosley Ashfield, um, also a great performer, they've raised um, £1,180 in, in, in a couple of years. They said social media is a great way to promote the retailer offers that easy fundraising provides. People can actually save money then on their online shopping and raise money for our club at the same time. So one of these clubs found their success through raising money when they shopped online, but what exactly do we mean by shopping online? So we work with over 2,700 online retailers, including two of the best known, which are of course Amazon and eBay. But it may be that you want to do your weekly grocery shop with Sainsbury's or Asda. We work with Ticketmaster, so that's one to remember next time you book tickets for an event or a concert. There are also the house purchases, like your washing machine from Curry's or your Hoover from Argos. Perhaps you're buying a new sofa from Royal Ashley or soft furnishings from John Lewis. Maybe it's DIY essentials from Home Base or B&Q or perhaps it's furnishings from Debenhams. Remember, online shopping also means booking and ordering. So you might be ordering a takeaway from justeat.co.uk or booking flights with Expedia, hotels with hotels.com or trains with a train line. You can buy stationery and office products from Staples and Viking. Um, general computer products and software from Dell. You can also purchase utilities, so phone contracts and Sky packages as well and raise a donation with energy providers. And of course we have lots of sports providers like Sports Direct and JD Sports as well. So another thing I want to introduce you to is bounty purchases. Um, bounty purchases is a bit of a made up term, but it basically means that you get a lump sum of cash for your club rather than a percentage donation. So for example, you could receive a £40 back when you buy a Sky package. If you're using EDF Energy or British Gas um, and you make a payment with them, you could receive £20 or £25 back for your club. It's not really a fun purchase, but a necessity, so buy insurance. Everyone buys it for their home, car, their pets. So why not have a look at some of our insurance providers, such as Viva, Confuse.com Confuse and AA. Um, you could claim a lump sum donation back for your club that way as well. Um, when you're buying a new mobile phone contract, there are some great deals to be had. Um, O2 is currently offering a £60 donation on some um, phone packages. So it's worth just having a look before you kind of make any big commitments financially or any decisions. It's just always worth to 
give Easy Fundraising a thought and come and have a look. Um, these donations are great because they'll instantly bump up your fundraising efforts. Um, and it's great as well to let your supporters know about bounty purchases because we found these type of larger donations do help maintain people's momentum. Um, you know, they can see the donations adding up and it helps them to remember to keep using the website and it kind of reinforces their belief and, you know, the fact that it does work and directly benefits your club. So now that we know how easy fundraising works and how to buy smart, it's time for me to share our top tips for success with you. We've done lots of research into what makes a good cause successful and have discovered that our top causes do some or all of the following things. So if you do one or more of these, then you're onto a winner. So I'll give you a quick overview of the three things that you'll need to remember to make easy fundraising a success before taking you through them in a little bit more detail. The first thing is start using easy fundraising yourself and spread the word. Once you're registered, you'll be the champion of your easy fundraising page. So start raising donations and get to know how it works. That way it's so much easier to speak to people about it and ask for their support. The second thing is use the donation reminder toolbar. So you may have noticed this on sign up. Um, you can add the, the donation reminder to your internet browser for free. Every time you shop online, a reminder pops up encouraging you to claim your donation. So you're likely to raise a bit more for your club. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. um, buy for your business is the third tip here. Um, so it's either buy for business or you can actually ask local businesses to support you as well. So do you or anyone you know buy stationary travel or computer products for the workplace? You can buy them through easy fundraising retailers and raise money for your club at the same time. Other businesses can also support you with their business buying. I'll tell you how they do that in just a moment. So a lovely slide here. You know how easy fundraising works and how to buy smart. You'll need to be raising donations to yourself and understanding how the model works. And this puts you in the best possible position to talk to people about easy fundraising and ask for their support. So as the picture suggests, you just need to keep on banging that drum. Don't stop talking about easy fundraising. Don't stop asking for support. Don't stop reminding people to use it, especially on the run up to Christmas. People will be shopping by default. You're not asking them to do anything different. They'll be buying their Christmas presents online. Keep talking to them about it. Keep reminding them to support their club when they shop through easy fundraising. So easy fundraising is easy to use, but sometimes a challenge can actually be remembering to claim a donation when you make a purchase online. So this is a bit more detail on our donation reminder. Um, it does the remembering for you. It sits on your internet browser and it reminds you when a donation can be claimed. So I'll just demonstrate for you how this actually works. So this is a, a typical um, home screen that you'll see when you're logged into Easy Fundraising. I'm currently just logged in as one of our very successful cricket clubs, Beeston and Toten Sycamore there, as you can see. So if you haven't already downloaded the donation reminder when you signed up, I'll just show you where you can find it. And it may be that you also want to point um, your supporters in the same direction. So if you just hover over Raise More, um, just to note that Raise More is a, a great area of the website. There's lots of different tools with promotional um, ideas, lots of different help and advice. And um, the donation reminder can be found within that drop down there. So you just click onto it. Um, so the, uh, the donation reminder, as I said, it sits on your browser um, and you can download it here. So um, there's lots of different reasons why you should. It, it provides you with a little reminder each time you shop online. Um, so I'll just demonstrate to you how this works. If you go to Google and search engine, say for example, you wanted to buy a waterproof coat. So as you can see within the search results there, um, you've got an um, easy fundraising logo notifying you that these particular retailers are affiliated with us. So we work with them and they will be the retailers that will give you a donation for your purchase. Click on to one of the retailers. 
And the donation reminder will just give you a, um, a subtle notification at the top of the page um, and ask if you want to activate the donation. Um, if for any reason you don't, you can also click no thanks and that gets rid of the, um, the toolbar. So you can see it's super easy to use. It just sits there in the background and it only pops up when it's relevant just to help you out to remember that donation. Um, it's really handy. You can raise approximately five times more donations with it than you will without it. It's totally safe. Um, you'll never forget to claim a donation this way. So make sure you recommend that your supporters use the toolbar as well. Um, it's available, as I said, for download on the website or also when you sign up. So, buying for business. Um, buying for business is a great way to raise bigger donations for your club. Um, when we say buying for business, we might mean uh, buying stationery, so paper, for the office printer cartridges, and for pencils. Um, perhaps as office suppliers like tea and coffee and milk, those kind of regular supplies that you get into the office. Um, it could be booking travel online, so flights, trains, hotels, and so on. Um, and then there's the computer purchases as well, so software licenses, the actual hardware itself, maybe it's phone contracts, that sort of thing. Um, so the question is really, do you make business purchases at work or do you know anybody else who does? So you can either log in yourself and buy those business purchases via easy fundraising retailers, or you can ask um, your contact or the supporter to, to support your club and do the same. Um, the nature of business purchases, um, they do tend to be larger um, in, in value and more frequent as well. So the bigger the purchase costs, the greater the donations the club will receive and, and the more frequently as well. That's one of our key tips, buying for business. It's one to remember um, and it's really good to mention to all of your supporters as well because people may be doing it in their jobs and not, not even realising that it's a great way for them to support your club at a distance by doing what they do anyway. Um, and as I mentioned before, you can actually ask local businesses to support your club. Um, it's possible for them to support you through easy fundraising. Um, so perhaps you have um, sponsorship from a local business or perhaps you already have a relationship with a business um, in the local area. Um, well, they can now support you by doing their purchasing through easy fundraising um, and the donations that they receive will get go directly to your club. So it's a brilliant way for them to support you at no extra cost or time to themselves, just in the same way that other business buying does. Um, but it's great for the business's corporate social responsibility, so that just means they'll be seen to have a positive impact in their local area. Um, it's super easy for the business to sign up to support you. Just ask them to type in easyfundraising.org.uk. So I've done a screen grab here. Um, and then all they'll need to do is just click the button raise with business purchases as the arrow demonstrates. Um, they'll be prompted to select the good cause they wish to support, which will of course be your club. And then they'll need to complete a short registration. Once they're signed up, they can start raising those valuable donations. We'll collect them and we'll send them over to your club. So just a quick refresher to wrap up the webinar and the tips that I've just been through. The first step is to use easy fundraising yourself, so raise a donation if you haven't already. And then tell everyone about it, become the easy fundraising champion, bend people's ear every time you see them. Is their house or car insurance due soon? Are they doing their Christmas shopping online? Ask them to sign up to support your club. Keep reminding them to use easy fundraising, particularly on the run up to Christmas when they're buying their presents, house decorations, doing their big food shop, whatever it may be. Use the donation reminder toolbar so you never forget to raise a donation and ask your supporters to do the same. And lastly, buy for business. And also, if you if there is anybody that you can reach out to in the local area business-wise, ask them to support you as well. So that brings us to a close. Thank you so much for taking part in this webinar. Um, if you'd like to um, ask any questions, please feel free to just type into the message box and um, we'll get right back to you. Thank you, Soph, that's great.
She just get back in front. I try not to talk as loudly as I normally do, so I don't deafen everybody. And um, well, thank you very much, Sophie. I hope hopefully everyone's got some um, some useful advice for that. And um, we would love to hear some questions from anybody. So the um, the chat box down here in the left hand corner, just type in the bottom if you have any questions, and we'll be able to respond live. Anything that's still buzzing around your head from Sophie's presentation, because there's probably quite a lot of information to take in there. And um, as I said, we've got Jenny McKenty here, who's one of our fundraising coaches at Easy Fundraise. It's her job to deliver one-to-one -one coaching in the use of the site. And um, so we do that for people over the phone on a, on a daily basis. And um, if you think that's of interest either to you, to anyone else at your club, or again, any of the cricket clubs that you know, you think might benefit from using Easy Fundraising, um, just let us know, just email me with the link that you'll get at the end of the webinar. Um, or by the site and we'll book you in for a coaching session um, just to give you that one-to-one -one leg up that often that people find really really helpful um, okay so we've got one question here in from andy thank you very much for asking that are you planning to develop an application for mobile phones and tablets as more and more people are using these nowadays to buy online that is a very good question andy jenny are you able to answer that question for andy um yes thanks andy um welcome uh, we're very excited. We are um, very close to launching um, the new mobile app, uh, which you'll be able to download on iPhones and iPads. Um, we're aiming to have it uh, downloadable in the next two to three weeks. I would say watch the space on our website. Um, once it's uh, downloadable, it will be up there uh, mentioned. Uh, not just yet for Android. Andrew is just asking, um, will it be downloadable for Android systems? Not just yet, that will be uh, worked on within the next few months as well, but we will have um, the iPhone and the iPad uh, available for you very soon. Yeah, sorry about that Android users, but you, we, uh, every, as with all these apps, they, they tend to get developed for Apple products first and then uh, everybody else follows suit. But if the Apple one goes well, I'm sure the Android one won't be far behind it. We'll keep you posted, we'll email everybody who's signed up to receive emails to let them know about that. So. Um, Watch this space, Andy, and that was, a, that was a really good question. Thank you. Very timely, seeing as we're, uh, we're just testing the app at the moment. Um, so I've got another question for you, Jenny, um, to ask here. Um, and Sophie touched on the, the Raise More section on the website. Um, and I just wanted to ask, what do you think are the most relevant tools that cricket clubs can find um, on the Raise More section that right. they'll be able to use to help them raise more money? Right. Um, if I made this a bold to show you otherwise online and I'll show you what you see when when you actually go on to our website page uh, you will see the section called raise more um, in this section you'll find all the tools, tools that you could possibly need uh, flyers um, business cards you can print out and hand out emails uh, that we've already uh, written the copy for you um, we've got uh, Facebook and so other social media messages that you can just copy paste and send across. Let me just click on to our Raise More section. I'm just going to actually click on the actual Raise More button and that should open up um, all the possible options that we've got. And I'll just pin up and show you just a couple that might be of interest to you. Um, most of the cricket clubs, I would understand, will have their own clubhouse. So you might want to... Um, uh, print out a poster or a fly that you can hang up on display for people to see when they walk in. Uh, I'll just scroll down slightly to posters and flyers, click on it and there you go, you've got different types of posters that you might find helpful. Uh, perhaps you're actually fundraising for a specific um, item that your club needs, we've got tailor-made um, target posters for that as well. We've got uh, easy fundraising donation reminder posters. Um, have a look at them, download them. You will see that your cricket club name uh, can be either put on the poster by yourself or it's already um, preloaded for you. Um, I'm just quickly scrolling up to the campaign and calendars. Um, we've got a little calendar, campaign calendar. Sophie already mentioned during the presentation is to keep reminding people of easy fundraising. Uh, an easy way for you that might help is to print out the campaign calendar that we've got. We've recently put a new one up for the month of October and they're running up to Christmas. Um, on the campaign calendar, it will give you some tips and tricks of um, 
how people can engage easy fundraising in their daily life. I'm just going to open up the October marketing calendar here. I think I'm pressing on the wrong button. Let me see if this one works. Or we'll just press the preview one there. That's better. Um, as you can see, Halloween's mentioned in there. You can send out a Facebook or a Twitter message to your supporters how they can that they can raise a donation when they buy something um, that they haven't downloaded the app yet. So there's lots of tips and tricks in there uh, in the raise more section. Um, I'm just going to use this last opportunity as well to talk about business cards. I'm just going to unclick that button and go back to business cards. Now, I will tell you our website, you can go through to all our tools in different ways. I'm just using this one because it gives me a clear layout of everything that we've got on, on site. Um, the business cards, if you click onto preview, you'll see all the business cards. Some people print them out, laminate them and then hand them out to the people um, that they think would be willing to support their cricket club. The reason I would suggest maybe a lamination or at least hand them out is to ask people to put them in their wallet. Uh, there's no way you can make a purchase without having to enter your credit card details. Most people keep the credit card in the wallet. So you have to get your wallet out, and see the easy fundraising business card, take it out um, at the same time with your credit card and make the association that when something needs to be paid online, you do it by easy fundraising. It will have, again, the option to write in the cricket club details that you want uh, your supporter to support. Um, and it's ready and bespoke there for you. Brilliant. Thank you, Jenny. That was a great, very uh, comprehensive answer. Um, just to pick up on one thing that Jenny was talking about, a good idea is, is to have a target in mind. You can put it on your posters and let everybody know um, something specific that you're raising money for, which really helps to kind of focus people's minds and get them kind of pulling together in the same direction. And we were um, we were at the the cricket Oscars at Lords on uh, on Monday this week, which was a fantastic event. And I was talking to uh, Dave Layton, who's the head of development at the ECB. And one thing he suggested that might be a really good target for a lot of clubs would be um, to aim to raise enough money to buy some flat sheet covers and water hogs for their club. It, he had to, he did have to explain what that was to me, um, but he said it would be something that would be really useful because it means you've got less games called off because of standing water on the pitch. Um, and in fact, it's going to it's going to save your, your club a lot more money than it actually costs. And from what we've worked out that the average cricket club could raise in a year, you should quite easily in one year be able to raise enough for a flat sheet covers and water hogs. So that's just a suggestion something you might be able to use as a target for your supporters to aim towards. Um, we've just got we've got one more question that came in from Arena on the uh, on the chat box, and she asked if we could uh, say a little bit about the referral scheme, which I think might also be relevant and a good way to earn extra money for your club. So I'll just ask Jenny just to tell you about the referral scheme, if you don't mind. Yeah, no problem. The referral scheme, um, if you know of any other charities or any other um, good causes that need fundraising, that can can benefit from extra funding, um, we'd recommend you to um, let others know of easy fundraising. Um, let me just show you on our website where you can find this information. Um, you scroll down, and I have to look at it, my apologies for that, um, get more, um, invite other causes. Sorry about that, you go down. So you invite other causes, and you click onto that, and there you can already see that we actually um, uh, provide you with a big thank you when you inform others of easy fundraising and when they register. Uh, you can inform others via Facebook, use Twitter, you can use email, and we've already helped you with it. I'm going to click on email, and as you scroll down, you see that the copy's already been written for you, and it tells the person what easy fundraising is about, how it works, and if they register with this link on the bottom, which is your personal referral link for your Click It Club, if other causes then register via this specific link, you will receive 20% of the donations that they raise in the first year. Now, keep in mind, the good cause that registers will receive their full 100%. It's just a thank you from Easy Fundraising to you, and you will receive the an extra 20% from what the other um, uh, charity or good cause have raised. Um, if you can get maybe three or four other good causes registering, 
you'll be in for a winner. You can <laughs> you can buy even two flat sheets. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> six roll out your back there. You could uh, you can have a little drivable water hog that you could use. And so yeah, that's a good idea to talk to other clubs. You know, perhaps every time you go and play another club, um, you know, just have a chat with them and just check whether they're on easy fundraising or not. If they're not, get their email address. Um, as Jenny said, cut and paste that text into an email, send it through to them, they click on your link and you start earning an extra 20% of everything that they raise and um, which all gets added to your total. So I think that's, um, that's a nice one that might be particularly relevant to cricket clubs. So I don't think we've got any more questions. He says checking the box. So um, we've, we've taken up about half an hour of your valuable time, so I'm conscious of letting you get on with your day. So I'd like to thank everybody very much for attending today. Um, we've certainly enjoyed uh, doing the webinar for you. If you have any more questions um, or anything else that occurs to you afterwards, you can always uh, either email me direct um, or you can email the customer services team via the website and they'll be happy to help. Um, I'd like to thank you again for your time, for giving that up for us, and I uh, hope you have a good afternoon and happy fundraising. <laughs>